Hello YouTube and LEGO fans and welcome to Destination LEGO and welcome to this Winter 2015 LEGO Star Wars set review video. So today I'm bringing you the Imperial Troop Transport Battle Pack set 75078. This is for ages 6 to 12. Comes with a piece count of 141 pieces. And it retails here in the UK currently for £11.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. So, like I said, this is a battle pack and a pretty cool battle pack at first glances anyway. It's not that often that you get a battle pack with four of the same um, minifigure in it. In this case, obviously, the Storm Troopers. So it is great if you want to build a Lego Star Wars minifigure, minifigure army. Um, so fantastic for those purposes. Anyway, let's take a look at this set now. Okay, so there we go. There's our first look at the Imperial Troop Transport with all four of those Stormtroopers in place, um, obviously on the transporter itself. As you can see, these Stormtroopers come with the new stud shooter um, weapons there, but we'll have a closer look at those in a second. So let's start off by taking a quick 360 view of this with the Stormtroopers in place. Okay, there we are, and back to that position there. So next up, let me just take a look at the side here. So we have these little flaps here, which do come down like so. Two of those on each side. So take those down. Now I guess they kind of protect and hold the stormtroopers in position, so they can go down like that. And obviously, little ramps for them to get off. Uh, we can then quite simply take our stormtrooper, our stormtroopers in this case. Oh, helmet comes off there. Take him out and round to the other side. And let's just take all these stormtroopers out um, for the time being. Just put those there. We'll take a close look at those in a second. Back round to the carrier itself. And again, you can see those flaps there. If we put those back up. Um, so in the middle you can probably see they're moving on guide rails, you can just see that there, those guide rails. We have a container that goes in the centre there, which we can see there. And in here we have some more ammunition, so another four of the red translucent 1x1 studs, um, obviously for the weapons so again that just simply slides into place there so a nice little addition um, and these will obviously help to keep that from falling out um, like so so a bit of detail at the front there obviously we have these cannons at the front of the troop carrier there you can obviously see what's obviously supposed to be the um, cockpit area up there you can see the windows around it just a bit of detailing on the top um, on the underside we have obviously these pieces here which are obviously going to enable it to move along a little bit more smoothly so a bit more playability on it um, back detailing not much there i guess the other main function is here we have this turret which does spin 360 degrees and in there we have flick fire missiles so if i just there you go. Obviously killed one of his own people there. But they just simply push out like so. Or obviously if you do what they're supposed to, flick out. Okay, so next up let's take a closer look at the Stormtrooper. Okay, so here we get to see a better closer look at the Stormtrooper. So you can see that printing on the legs going up there into the torso. Some pretty cool printing take a look at the rear we can see that rear torso printing as well there you get a look at the 
um, weapon there. Obviously, those of you who don't know how these work, there is a little trigger mechanism there. And all we do if we push down on that, now you can see, um, well, gone all the way over there. Um, that stud does fire out at quite some rate. So let's just remove that weapon so we can take a better look. Right. Um, so there onto the helmet and some of the detailing and colour on that Stormtrooper helmet. But again, looking pretty menacing and I have to say pretty awesome. We just carry that and let's spin it round. Okay, so let's remove his helmet. Take a look at that face detail and printing. Okay, which we can see right then is a single sided face print. So that is our Stormtrooper. Like I said, all four are identical. So great for building the um, Lego Star Wars minifigure armies if that's what you want to do. Um, I personally, myself, I mean, I've got lots and lots of clones and oh, what have I got bomb squad troopers probably a couple of hundred of those but my main I guess passion and collection is the droids I have a, quite a big droid army but if you want to I can share with you my collection of um, Lego Star Wars minifigures certainly of clones um, etc just let me know down in the comments Okay, so there we go. That is my review of the Imperial Troop Transport Set 75078 complete. So my opinion on this, I think this is an awesome battle pack. So like I said, if you are into collecting um, the same types of minifigures to build an army, this is great for certainly building an army of Storm Troopers. So big thumbs up and awesome for that. Um, for me, I think it's great to see four of the same type of minifigure in a battle pack because that is the purpose of a battle pack to build armies. So for that purposes uh, alone, I give this a big thumbs up and recommend to buy. Anyway guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that big thumbs up. Any comments, questions or feedback, leave down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already, Please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And also, I have a new channel now, which is a vlog channel, which is going to cover more than just Lego, but I suspect it will be mostly Lego. So please take a look at that. The link is down in the description to this video, somewhere down there, along with links to my Instagram and Twitter um, accounts and my BritLink as well. I have a BritLink store. So take a look at all of those and please subscribe to those channels where there are subscriptions. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!